Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Rahu is now transiting in Gemini, and very soon, in a few days, it is going to enter the sign of Taurus, which is the original sign number two controlled by Venus. So, I have made a video uh, on English and both Hindi for all the different ascendants long, long, long back, months back. Uh, because many of you had requested me to make that video with certain mantras and remedies. Uh, but this video is exclusively to understand uh, how this flavor uh, will come out for this transit. And the thing is, uh, ultimately, you have to understand that what's happening in your horoscope is being decided by the dashas and not by transits doesn't matter rahu transit ketu transit any transit just your dashas and the horoscope okay but depending on your dashas you will feel the effects of the transits differently so for example now rahu will transit taurus for all the people but which aspects of taurus will become lively in your life that you cannot predict that is not possible to predict just by transits you could say that, oh, these, these, these things will happen. But then for you, what will happen? It is very easy to give a big lecture. Oh, for this ascendant, this will happen. And sometimes people ask me also in the comments that, oh, you are telling these, 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 this will happen. But for me, which one will happen? So for that, you have to look at your own chart and your dashas. Okay? You cannot accept generalized predictions to be the word of the gods. Because that's not the way it is meant to be. Okay, so therefore, check your horoscope and check uh, if you have any planets in Taurus or where your Venus is, and most importantly, your overall chart, the flow of the horoscope, and your dashas. That will ultimately tell you what kind of flavor will you get from this so-called transit of Rahu into the sign of Taurus. All right. But today we shall discuss in brief uh, certain aspects which can be lively in your life okay? with some examples of course and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you have not watched those videos either in Hindi or English then I will put them uh, here at the end of the video you can watch them right. God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him. And if you want a consultation from me, then my website is down below. Okay. Now, the thing is, what is Taurus? Taurus is the own sign of Venus. Taurus represents all the dead things which Venus stands for. Dead. <laughs> lifeless. Taurus is lifeless. Oh, lifeless, my God. Taurus people don't have hearts. No, it's not like this. Venus represents uh, the sign of Taurus and Libra. Taurus represents uh, the, those things uh, which even if you do not have, uh, you can still live. <laughs> but if you have them, uh, it enhances your life and it makes your life uh, more appealing. It adds charm basically. Because uh, Taurus represents the face actually okay, of a person. And the face is the first thing that you notice about person when you see them you say oh this person looks very good why because the person's face looks very good <laughs> yes so that's what is the sign of Taurus so now suppose if a person's face doesn't look good does it mean that the person is a bad person or the person is crooked or the person is not nice no it doesn't mean that uh, but uh, if the person has a good looking face then uh, it enhances the overall interaction at, at, at least uh, that's what happens in Kaliuga at least so that's an example of uh, Taurus actually and within that the different nakshatras they control different parts you know, like the cheeks Taurus also represents primarily the cheeks of somebody okay. So now the thing is, uh, then uh, what does Libra represent? Well, Libra and, and yes, by the way, Taurus also represents all the drinks of this world. Okay? Uh, at a good level, uh, at a sattvic level, it can also indicate uh, fruit juice and uh, 
like milk and all these things although milk is represented by the moon but uh, if you put some value to milk then it can also be represented by dos Taurus is basically value addition. Anything which you put some color or you know, some smell or some visuals, whatever, that's Taurus basically. Uh, but it's all dead. It's lifeless. Like fruit juice, milkshake, it's lifeless. Somebody, somebody has to consume that to feel it. Okay? Then you go to Libra. Libra is the Mool Tricone sign of Venus. What's Libra basically? Libra represents all the liveliness of Venus. Taurus doesn't have any meaning unless Libra exists. If there is no Libra, then there is no use of Taurus. Okay. Imagine all the people are dead and you have all the all the good things. And there's, there's nobody to enjoy. So that's what is like saying Libra is not there. So, among these two, Libra is the Mool Tricone sign. So, Venus is uh, primarily representing Libra, then representing uh, Taurus. Because it's the higher octave of Venus. It is what Venus primarily stands for. And then it uh, gets exalted in Pisces, of course, where uh, it finds fulfillment in uh, detachment, basically. And that's where love flourishes, you know, when you are detached and uh, you do not try to uh, exert your uh, opinions on somebody. So now, what's Rahu basically? Rahu represents all the unusual and weird things of, of this world. Okay. Rahu Ketu represents boundary basically. Boundary means anything where you have you might get a temptation to cross the words of the scriptures which the scriptures do not uh, recommend so for example the scriptures recommend that you should get married to one spouse and stay with one person life okay? not uh, keep hopping like dogs as people do in Kali Yuga these days from one person to another you know, like sometimes <laughs> so that's like a temptation oh my thing is not working with this person and oh maybe I should change you know so then as animals keep changing partners, we also keep changing partners, you know. Uh, and then, yes, now I know many people will get angry and they will write, that, oh, how do you say like this? You know, there are many reasons why we can do But I am talking of temptations here. Okay? There are many people who do that in Kali Yuga. Not, not, even, not only in Kali Yuga, there was, uh, from those days, in the Ramayana also, this was there. You know. Any examples? The best, best example for this is the brother-sister Yes, uh, Ravan and Devi Sukhnaka, these two are the best examples. <laughs> Ravan, he was always obsessed with uh, wives of other men. He was least interested in his own wives. Okay? And he had the most beautiful queens that would have ever existed in history. But yet his eyes were always on the wives of others. And same, his uh, most beloved, uh, sweet little sister, Sutlaka, Devi Sutlaka also. <laughs> never, never, never interested in what she had. Always putting eyes on other men. Okay? And the rest is history. The rest is Rama and what happened when she got attracted to Ram and then she got attracted to Lakshman and then she again got attracted to Ram and then the rest is history, Rama. So now the thing is, that's what Rahu represents. So, the first thing that you need to observe for this transit in your life is Taurus also represents food items. Okay? So overindulgence in food is something which you really need to take care of. This is something which can uh, create havoc in your life. Okay? So therefore, <coughs> uh, it's very important that uh, you understand what is the purpose of food. Many times people do not understand the uh, purpose of food. Now, sometimes you may eat certain uh, things which are free with rajas. That's fine. Um, within within the uh, within the purview of the scriptures, I mean. Okay, but even then, uh, in the name of like, for example, uh, people 
tell me sometimes, you know, oh, sir, I am a vegetarian, you know, I have been a vegetarian. Uh, but the question is, are you eating vegetables or you are eating all the crap, you know, there's so much crap even in vegetarian uh, using that you can eat and in the name you can call yourself a vegetarian. Or you could say, you know, oh, I only eat, you know, Indian food. I do not eat, you know, all the junk food of the West. But then, what are you eating? Indian food. Okay. Or you may say, like, uh, I stay in Germany. Yeah, many times people say, oh, Indian food is so spicy. I cannot eat, you know, my God. I feel like dying when I'm eating. It's too spicy. Oh, my God. Uh, like, all right, what are you eating? Oh, we are eating all this, you know, McDonald's, French fried donuts and all this crap. So, so the thing is, either you are an Indian or you are German or you are American or you are Australian or you are Italian. <laughs> this is something which you need to take care of. That you eat what is going to be the most nourishing for your body. Yes, and what is the most important thing for the for the body to have, which is like the building blocks of your body. And now I know you will say, oh yeah, building blocks means proteins, right? No, that's not the building block of the body. It is vegetables, green vegetables. Okay? So therefore, you must eat green vegetables. I'm not going to give any number here, this much or that much. Okay? But you should eat sufficiently. One of the symptoms of eating sufficient green vegetables. Now again, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. You might have some serious condition medically or some, some exception could be there. But for 99% of the people, if you are eating green vegetables properly, then you, you, will, you will observe, you know, your day is like very calm, your mood is very nice. Your sleep is better. One of the symptoms of uh, low vegetable intake is insomnia. Okay. Now, why that happens, I can explain, but that will take a lot of time unnecessary. Okay. Uh, or too much anxiety. Do you, do you feel that your mind is always hyper? You know, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. <laughs> that is one of the symptoms that you are not eating uh, sufficient amount of vegetables. Or are you depressed all the time? Or are you moody? Sometimes you are like, oh my God, life is good, you know, everything is so great. Sometimes you are suddenly like, oh, I wish I had that in life. So, there's too much ups and too much downs in your uh, mood, okay. And this is irrespective of age or gender, whatever, it locality, geography, anything. Does it sound like somebody? then your vegetable intake is way, way, way less. Okay. So, this is something which you need to take care that you do not indulge in, uh, in the name of being a vegetarian or uh, you are just eating anything except vegetables. Okay. And if you are a vegetarian, you might get a uh, temptation to, uh, and if you used to eat meat, then you might get temptation to fall back to your old sinful habits. Okay. So therefore, it's very crucial that you guard against this temptation of Rahu, okay? Because Rahu represents all this, you know, animal killing and uh, Rahu represents sin, basically. One of the, uh, in English, they say, you know, there's a word known as synonym, which means it has the same meaning. So if you translate the Check for synonym of Rao, we will find more words, but you know there's a three letter word that's S I N. So anything which is sinful is indicated by Rao, and then Saturn gives you the punishment later on. So if there's no Rao, then Saturn cannot run it. So people criticize Saturn, they they spit in the face of Saturn. Yes, Shani ne mujhe barbaat kiya hai. Shani ne mujhe kahi ka nahi chhoda hai. Shani has ruined my life. Shani does not do anything. Shani just gives you list which Rahu gave you and Rahu tempted you and you fell actually. Okay. So therefore, uh, this transit can give you some temptation. So eat more uh, good stuff. If you are eating meat, then the scriptures advise that we should become a complete vegetarian because we have not given life. So we do not have the right to take life and periods. There's no discussion, no arguments, uh, no clarification on this. No meat means no meat. There's 
absolutely no uh, space for debates on this okay i don't care wherever you are whoever you are you like to hear this or not that is not what the scriptures recommend you won't like it if i catch your neck and slit it right so even animals won't like it okay? so this is something which you really need to take care the next thing is uh, you can develop a tendency to eat cuisines from different countries okay? or go to different countries or, or not, not literally like countries but from different cultures actually because Rahu will give that element and it can also happen that you uh, try to uh, mix certain cuisines okay? so it can happen that uh, you are trying to eat something uh, which is technically Indian but you are trying to put some uh, cheese over it you know which is typical kind of western so or it could happen that you are uh, cooking some uh, western dish with you know some Indian spices these these things can happen actually yeah. these are minor things which I am telling you and apart from this uh, you can also see so if you are into restaurant business you know then this is a great time if you can uh, suggest or offer these combos you know so for example uh, some Indian dish combined with some uh, western dish then these things will sell more actually because Rahu is in Taurus now so this is uh, from the perspective of the food uh, food industry and then we have this you know cosmetic uh, creativity and all this so it's a great time for these things also because uh, the nakshatra Rohini inside is representing all this okay food is primarily represented by Kritika and Rikshida and Rohini represents all this creativity uh, uh, like anything related to beauty or fashion designing and all this so now if you are planning to do some course in fashion designing or if you are into IT like me and you want to work on something like you know user experience design or uh, user interface anything which is related to the front end you know like uh, look and feel or like experience basically that feel good factor okay? Then, then it's a good time you can venture into that domain and uh, you can also take feedback from people if you have an app and, you know, or if you have a website you can ask people how do you feel because Rohini is that feel good factor so or if you're planning to learn some you know like online course which teaches like how to draw or uh, online painting or whatever it is they, if you are trying to uh, go to the next level if you're trying to like change your career and if your dashas are indicating this level, then it's a very good time to do all this. So this is something which you can take care. And then, uh, apart from this, uh, regarding fashion designing also, uh, or there's another thing which I always see uh, with Rohini, and that's architecture basically. So if you are also uh, planning to go towards architecture, then then also it's a good time. And also if you are planning to venture into vehicles why why do i say vehicles because venus represents vehicles actually so now um, you can venture into that domain if your dashas indicate the 10th house or the 11th house with some link with the 12th house why 12th house because you have to purchase a vehicle and then you have to uh, you can lease it or rent it or something like this so these are things which you can do and uh, one of the most important thing is that uh, it depends actually uh, you can also do things in YouTube okay? because uh, Taurus also represents YouTube yes Libra also does but Taurus also represents so this is a great time to come on YouTube and share your stuff share your information share your knowledge that you have so these are the positives which you have and on the negatives uh, you can have this you know like too much over indulgence or uh, even when Rahu will transit Rohini, then this can happen, you know, like scandals or uh, some member of the opposite sex can be running behind you or you may be running behind. <laughs> These are things which can happen. Okay? And uh, one of the most important lessons of this transit for the next 18 months will be to enjoy but not to cross your limits basically. So, this is a great time to check, to check how much self-control you have. 
because on the other extreme what happens sometimes we uh, go into that mode you know i won't any, i won't do anything you know i'll just sit in my home and do nothing for some time and then on the other extreme we are like you know uh, wasting our life doing all nonsense so th this transit is a very good opportunity for us to check how much self control we have that when good things are given to us how do we behave so um, one of the symptoms of a great personality is that personality uh, he can use the good things in life but not get attached to it so it's like uh, imagine a person who is very sense, sense control self control uh, is very clear and focused in life then if you give him 1 million dollars for example so the person will use it properly you open some business or invest it somewhere or you know do something productive maybe 10 percent he may keep for himself okay that oh this much is my money for enjoyment and the rest i will invest open my business or do some online teaching or whatever but if you give it to a degraded person what he will do is he will say oh 10 percent i'll put in bank or i'll you know, put in shares or whatever i'll uh, invest or put in real estate whatever and the rest 90 percent yes i will enjoy so this transit will give you a lot of opportunities to enjoy. So, this transit will uh, force yourself to force you to check inside that can I use things, good things of this world without uh, getting attached to it? Okay. Or do I have to either be on the other extreme? Oh, I, I, I won't do this, or I will only do this. Okay. So, you have to check if you can come in in that uh, zone where you can balance both okay. now when i say balance doesn't mean you do sinful activities i'm not saying balance means like for example those things which are not prohibited by the scriptures within that also you can indulge as i said somebody claims to be a vegetarian and then they're eating too many ice creams for example that's also indulgence because uh, that will gradually uh, push you towards doing other sinful activities because of the high sugar content you, you will lose the stability of your mind okay. so therefore whatever it is whoever you are whichever state you are in uh, it's important that we keep a reality check on our uh, habits okay so the one, the one word which uh, is crucial for this transit is habits okay. Your, your habits will decide who you become at the end of the day okay? because you cannot change your life unless you change your habits what is life basically people say i want to change my life i want to do this i want to do that and I was, well, what kind of habits do you have oh sir you know my habits are not very good how do you change your life you cannot change your life unless you change your habits your habits make up your life life is basically a product of habits all your habits together what i'm doing now i'm making this video Every day I am making one video, that's a habit. Imagine this half an hour which I am using, I would use to you know, smoke a cigarette. Then what would happen? That would become a habit, right? So that would ruin my life later. Maybe now also it's ruined. <laughs> so that's how you transform yourself. That's how you change your life. It's not by watching motivational videos or not by doing all this. By doing spiritual practices and changing your habits only then you can change your life okay so if you're looking for changing your lifestyle uh, then you have to change your habits okay and the most important thing is when you want to change your habits is that you stay with the right company if you are hanging around with meat eaters drunkards and people who are addicted to pornography then that's who you will become okay so seek good association, seek the association of spiritually uh, connected people. Only then you will uh, be able to utilize this transit properly. Otherwise, after 18 months, what will happen? You will, you will be lamenting either for one reason. You will lament that, oh, everybody enjoyed, I could not enjoy anything. Okay? Or I enjoyed so much that I ended up ruining my life. Okay, so do, don't be in this extreme whatever the scriptures allow you can uh, you can have fun within that zone okay but do not cross your limits know your limit and even within your limits do not over indulge okay 
that will be all from my side and tomorrow I shall make a video for K2 Transitor to Scorpio and these two videos as I promised will be here. God is there with you all the time just to him and you will find it. If you want a consultation from me, please go to my website below and if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it online. Thank you.